Hello and welcome back to Mario Kart Week 1 last episode. We played through the Banana Cup on 50cc and so we're going to be playing through the Leaf Cup on 50cc if this would load. Thank you very much. And we are going to be using good old Yoshi. Yoshi! In the Wild Wing, which is the one of the three carts we have yet to use for the Midway class. Manual transmission, of course. And we're, let's start with Leaf Cup with, DS, with Desert Hills from Nintendo DS. Bowser Castle 3 from the Game Boy Advance, DK's Jungle Parkway from Nintendo 64, and Mario Circuit from the GameCube. Let's do it. Okay, so one thing I know about the Wild Wings, while, while its acceleration is pretty trash, the, the top speed is actually really, really strong. So it'll help us, so as long as we don't screw up, which of course will happen a lot, we should be able to stay in first for a for majority of this race. Um, and on this race, we are in Desert Hills, which oh, looks like we've, well, we've just spun out the back of the pack there. So the thing about Desert Hills, I am generally speaking not the biggest fan of desert courses, as you know. If you watch the special video with that one, yeah, not my, not exactly my cup of tea, I just don't like, don't, gen, generally speaking, I don't like the aesthetic of it, I don't like the, the, oh, let's get it. Nope, still didn't get it. One day, see, look, the, the acceleration of this vehicle is absolute garbage, but its top speed is actually pretty good, so, as long as the power block doesn't come to screw us up, which it did just then, we should be fine, but of course, let's not count chickens with the hatch. Uh, however, the exception is actually this level, Desert, uh, the, yeah, Desert Hills is really really good. I really like this course I, I don't know what it is I think just because like if, if it feels like it's more than just a desert right because the other ones are just empty like vast oh god just vast arrays of sand and nothing else to it but here we have the little pond area in the beginning we have the, the palm trees we have these little pokey dudes I guess, I guess the pokey dudes are in the other ones so that's not really fair um but the, yeah the castles in the background the pipes it just it, it feels like there's more going on to this course than it just being a desert, which I guess is why, I guess is why Cheeseland is probably my favorite des de desert course out of Mario Kart 8, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, just because it, like it feels like there's more going on than than just a desert, because you know they have cheese everywhere, they have, they have the chain chomps, they have the massive views overlooking everything. It, it, it's not just a desert you're looking at. There's more to it. You see, you get the palm trees, the castle, the little pond in the beginning, also these red things, and also in the opening cutscene, I also saw, I've never seen it before. The sun in the sky looks like he's angry. Like, I, don't, I don't know why the sun looks angry. I guess he didn't feel like coming out today. He wanted to set race in darkness, but then the game said, No, you must come out. Uh, so, I guess that's how that worked. Also, we have the little fireball dudes, the pyramids. I already mentioned the castles. And I, I, I don't really know what else to say without saying there's more to this than just a desert. And that's that's why I like this course as much as I do. And that's why I, I, it stands out above... It stands out above the dry, dry ruins and the dry, dry deserts of the world because... Those, by and large, just feel like massive sand tracks for you to drift across. But this, this is not so much. I also love the little snake pattern here that you can do while you're maneuvering your way through this course. So that's always nice. And fire, please don't screw me over. Can we hit the mushroom? Nope, we just missed it. Oh, wait, did we hit it? Oh, well, if we did hit it, I got hit, hit by the mushroom anyway. Okay, that was a pretty significant leap. Like I said, wild wings top speed, great. Acceleration, not so great. So long as we don't get hit, we'll be fine. Anyway, let's move on to the next race. My second favorite Bowser Castle of the, uh, what's it, my second favorite ba Bowser Castle of Mario Kart Wii, which you'd think wouldn't be the case because it is, it is an SNES course, and of course because that they, they can't, there's no really, I already explained this before, so I'll keep it brief this time, they can't really do any elevation, it, it's all one flat plane that you have to drive across, um, that, that's mainly just because of the limitations of the SNES version, which I believe was it called Super Mario Circuit. I think so. I've never I never played the SNES version, so I don't I wouldn't know. But excuse me, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Uh, that being said, 
The aesthetic of this level is really, really cool. The like the purplish gray aspect that's got going on. Because you're inside the castle walls, and you can see the boundaries around you. The swamps in the air. It's just the whole course is coated in lava. You have these little metal rays you're driving over the lava. I don't know. I just somehow this feels like there's more life to it than the one from the special cup. But I don't know what. What? What do I know? All right. Also, I apologize if my voice is a little raspy today, uh, just because I woke up approximately an hour ago. I woke up, I woke up, took a shower, brushed, brushed my teeth, got dressed, ate breakfast, and then sat down to record my Ricard Wii. And immediately after this, I'm gonna record Lego Star Wars Complete Saga because I have a lot of stuff to do today. So I'm gonna get my recording videos done immediately. Oh, what can we? No, we still can't do. I do not know when the appropriate time is to hit that button, hit the trick button to. No, nope, no, nope, stop, Baby Mario, stop it, stop it. Bad Baby Mario, bad Baby Mario. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. 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 That's fine. You, you want me to stay in third for now? Don't worry. I'll catch up any second now. Okay. Well, I like that. I'm not going to. Oh, dear. This is this actually very bad. Okay. Bowser, out of my way. Thank you very much. I'm going to grab this. Never mind. I'm not going to grab that. I was hoping I was going to get a red shell or something that I could use to get back into first place. As of right now, was, oh, this is going to be tough. Okay. I think I need... Oh, oh, of course. That's the worst timing in the world. I was hoping that I would at least be in the air for long enough to- I didn't even get the, the boost on the way back down, okay. We need to step the game up really quickly. We Basically, the only chance we have of finishing first in this race is to get a, a last-second miracle item, please. That's not a last-second miracle item. The blooper does not have any effect on the AI whatsoever. I was hoping for maybe a Mega Mushroom or a Bullet- That's something I wish they brought back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And Mario Kart 8 is just the Mega Mushroom. Okay, mushrooms are fine. I'll, I'll take standard mushrooms. There aren't really any places, I guess, except right here. There aren't really any places to use mushrooms as for a shortcut fashion, so I, I just use them to cross, cut across like that. Anyway, uh, yes, there's a lot of stuff I gotta do today. I gotta get, I, there's some programming I need to get done for projects that I'm working on. What else do I need to do? Um, yeah, I need to, and then, the, so, so but that, that's gonna take up the, the, a majority of my time here. Um, also because I'm leaving for, uh, I'm, I'm leaving on a vacation the week you guys, the, the, the week you guys are seeing this actually, the Friday, so tomorrow for you guys, tomorrow for you guys, I'm gonna be leaving on a week-long vacation, and because of that, I need to get all the videos recorded and edited before I leave. Which means I need to get two weeks of content done within a week's time. So, you know, that's gonna be fun. Um, I mean, it, it probably will be just gonna be pre recording a lot, but I'm sure it will be stressful as well because if I don't get it done in time, then there goes videos. So that's the things to say. That goes, but yeah, basically. I'm just gonna get the stuff, this stuff done as well as I can be. Because, because the other thing I have to do today is that later today I'm going to meet my friend. No, I'm sorry, I'm gonna meet Forget Forgot 45 at the at the movie theater. We're going to see Men in Black International. Um, neither of us really think it's gonna be any good, but you know we're, we're gonna give it a fair shot because it's pretty much the only movie I've been genuinely looking forward to seeing since How to Train Your Dragon 3. Uh, yeah, Lego Movie 2, Happy Death Day to You, and How to Train Dragon 3 are the only three movies I've been genuinely excited to see this year. Um, everything else has just been certifiable garbage. Uh, Detective Pikachu I saw because Free Rafael 45 wanted to see, and I said, okay, you, you, you pick the movie, and she picked Detective Pikachu, so that's, that's how that works. Uh, Aladdin I went to see ironically because it's like, how bad can it possibly be? And uh, yeah. That's that's the state of movies that we have nowadays. So I'm I have high hopes. I mean no I don't I don't have high hopes at all. I have I have I am optimistic that it won't be completely terrible. But you know, you know how that goes. Anyway, next race. I absolutely love DK's Jungle Parkway. Right, right at the beginning, you, you drive by that cruise ship that's just waving, that's just waving goodbye. He's like, "Bye guys, enjoy your race." And I, I know previously I may have said I didn't like the orange aesthetic that Daisy Circuit had, but for some reason it works really, really well here. Like, it, it, I don't know. I guess it feels like the sun setting over this course. I don't, I don't know why, but for some reason it works. Th that color scheme works really, really well for DK's Jungle Parkway. And I, I don't think I would enjoy this course. In fact, I don't think I, yeah, I don't think I would enjoy this course as much as I do if the sun, like if if it was just like bright blue skies out there. I don't know if it would have the same effect. I really don't. 
Um, but I guess we'll. Yeah, so. J jungle levels already, like DK Jungle from uh, Mario Kart 7 and in turn the reimagining of F from Mario Kart 8 are. That, that's another one of my favorite courses. Just, I guess jungles in general I like. Oh, can we get it? Nope. I, I don't. I don't know. I, I, I did it accidentally once and then never did it again. So I guess we'll. Maybe, maybe we'll get it again before the end of the Let's Play. We'll see. Yeah, this the, this jungle from start to finish is really, really great. Just you you have so much to it. Yep, you, you have the opening section where you wind around uh, this path right here, and the, the cruise ship is still the cruise ship still goes down that river all throughout the all throughout the, the race. So that's fun. You got this loop motion right here where you're looping around the center, and then wouldn't you know it, we have a big ramp. This I think this this is the only time in the entire game in which a ramp of this caliber appears to launch you across the river like that. That's great. And they give you a lot of room here to recover after that. There's little, there's tracks left over, like, uh, tire tracks from people drifting into position. And then you have the last jungle section here where you move through the, 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 the deeper parts of the jungle. And then from there you go into the cave and that leads you back to the star line. It's just, this, this is definitely one of my favorites just because, I mean, I feel like I'm, I've been saying life a lot, but it does, it does feel like it has a lot of life put into it. It, it feels like I'm really, I, I think the only way they could make this jungle better is if they like if they had animals like monkeys swinging back and forth or birds flying. That would probably be the the cherry on top of this one, just to, just to feel like that we were going through a real jungle rather than a a fake jungle, I guess. But okay, we're not gonna let's not for the fall for that fake item box. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Men in Black International today. I rewatched Men in Black in anticipation of it, and I forgot how incredible that first movie is. And the ending of it is like, oh, that's so sweet. Because if you haven't seen Men in Black, just, um, I, I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't really feel bad about spoiling it just because, you know, it's been out for a long time now. It came out in 19, 19, 1997 was when it came out, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, but, okay, so I'll, I'll just say it anyway. If you don't want Men in Black spoilers, skip to the end of the race. Uh, so, uh, Tommy Lee Jones' character has been missing his wife, so at the end of the movie he asks Will Smith to wipe his memory. For some reason, there. I know. I know the. I know it's J and K. For some reason, I. I don't know which. I can't remember which one is which. Like you know, what, that's gonna drive me crazy. I'm gonna look up right now on the spot which one is which. I know it's J and K. So why is it escaping me? Which one is which? Okay, come on, load. I don't have. I don't have a lot of time. Men in black. Uh, here. <coughs> okay. Yeah. So that's what I thought. So Will Smith is J. Tommy Lee Jones is K. So. Uh, Kay asks Jade to wipe his memory, and he does. So then, in the end, you see a newspaper that man awakes from 20 years, 35 years coma, something like that, and it's saying that like, he went to go back and live with his wife, and then now Agent J is with, uh, is with the. Uh, God, I forget this one too. I, I keep forgetting all the letters. Uh, okay, Laurel, that's what it is. Wait, does he? Does she not have a agent name? I, I, I guess she wouldn't, because I don't think does does J address her as a, basically the end of the movie. Uh, they become partners. Which I really, that it's, it's just such a great ending, because Will, because Jay has the job now, full time, with a new partner, and Kay gets to go live happily ever after with his wife. That's such a great ending! And that's why I've deliberately chosen not to watch Men in Black 2 or 3 in anticipation of this movie, because I want to pretend that the movie, that the series, or not the series, that the Tommy Lee Jones Will Smith era of Men in Black ends with the first movie. Because I remember the second one being certifiable garbage, and I remember the third one, even though it did have a lot of emotional beats in terms of Jay's character, um, I don't want to ruin that ending of the first movie for myself, so I'm just going to pretend, yeah, everything's great. Anyway, yeah, that'll be my Men in Black rant for the day. Let's, let's move on to the final race. We'll have to wait and see. Whoa, that was a really good turbo start. That was an excellent turbo start. Yeah, but um, I'll have to wait and see till the end of this race. But I think I might actually like this one. Please. Ah, okay. So it's not. So you can't manipulate this one like you can the uh, the flower cup one. Oh, what? Okay. Please, this this car's acceleration is trash. Please take the inside and move past all of these guys. Waluigi, out of my way. Wario, out of my way. I need this. I, I, I didn't get an item. Okay, that's fine. Fine, I oh, dodged the bomb. Okay, we dodged the bomb. 
No worries, we don't them all. Yeah, but we'll have to wait till the anniversary, but I think I might actually like this one more than the, like this Mario circuit more than the Flower Cup Mario circuit. I, I, yeah, I think I actually definitely, oh, except this section might actually maybe, hold on. No, this is fine. I remember having an issue with that section, but that section's totally fine. Okay, you get a red shell. You get a red shell. And I saved the last, well, never mind, I didn't have to save the last one for anything. Wait, did he block the red shell? Did he block the red shell? Why'd you block the red shell? Come on. Out of my way. Ah, that, well, bye, to Toad. Toad. Ah, you thought you were gonna get the diamond block, didn't you? Well, guess what? You thought wrong! Now I have bananas behind my back and you can't do anything about it. Okay, let's not be risking taking the inside. Let's take the outside. There we go. Everything's fine. Yeah. I, I, I like this one more. Definitely. Not more than Mario Raceway, but I definitely enjoy this one more than, uh, in fact, Leaf Cup might just be my... F we'll have to wait till the end of the Lightning Cup, but as of right now, this might just be my favorite of the, uh, ah, of the Retro Cups. Flower Cup's still my favorite of the, of the Wii Cups. Of the Retro Cups, I, I don't actually know. Yeah, I'd, I'd be hard-pressed to, to pick one. Hmm. It's the Banana Cup, because the Banana Cup, mm. it, it wouldn't be the Shell Cup, just because it has Ghost Valley and it has Yoshi Falls. It does have Peach Beach, it has Mario Race, but, but those two middle courses just aren't enough to make up for it. Banana Cup's really strong, Leaf Cup's really strong. We'll have to wait till the end of the Lightning Cup to make a definitive decision, and then we'll, we'll pin it up against whatever the Flower Cup is. Or, or, sorry, whatever the, yeah, we'll, we'll pin it up against the Flower Cup and see which one is better. And, hmm. And I wonder what my favorite course in the entire game would be, I wonder. I don't know. And there's good. There's our funny shell for the day. Let's hope. Let's let's tell you what. Let, let's make that the last funny shell of the day. You hear me? That that, that means no more spiny shells. You, you you've had your fix of spiny of spiny shells for the day. How about we don't do any more? I haven't really talked about this course at all. Other than that, I like it more than that. Nope. Toad, stop it. Stay right back there. Stay back there, Toad. Other than that, I like it more than the flower cup version of Mario Kart. Uh, Mario Kart? No. The flower yes. The, Mar the flower cup version of Mario. Kart, that's definitely one of them. The flower cup version of Mario Circuit. I d I guess it just. I don't, yeah, I don't actually, I don't, I, I don't know how to describe it, really, but that, those three guys went back quickly. I just, I guess maybe I just like the aesthetic of it more. I don't know, maybe, maybe it feels like, because it feels like we're going through the Mushroom Kingdom and under tunnels and through the gardens and all that, rather than going through the town and around the hill. I don't know. It, it probably just comes from the personal problem, because they're both great courses. Anyway, let's go to the award ceremony. You got first place, and somehow still got a star rank. Okay. Congratulations, you can now play the 50cc Lightning Cup because we won a trophy in the 50cc Leaf Cup. Congratulations, you've unlocked a medium cart, the Super Blooper, because we won the Leaf Cup on 50cc. And that is going to do this episode of Mario Kart Wii. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I hope to catch you all tomorrow for some more Mario Kart Wii. Goodbye.